Nice. Uh, welcome to, again, another installment of one of these practice questions. This one is on the Synapse. Hopefully you had a chance to take a look at the teaching video or at least took a look at the notes on page 21, topic 8, Synapse. Uh, again, uh, they love these type of questions and you often see these type of questions about the Synapse where they'll give you some events and again, require you to put them in the correct order. So this is uh, another numerical response type question. And uh, they're talking about uh, this just being the next type of question. I'm just going through this a little quicker because we've seen some of the different strategies. Uh, you take a look and this is talking about the neuromuscular junction, which is just another way of saying the synapse, okay? But muscular. So they're talking about uh, a presynaptic neuron uh, exciting a muscle in this case here. And then they give you a bunch of events. So when you get this type of question, it's easy when you have your notes in front of you, but of course in an exam situation, you're not gonna have access to the notes. So sometimes it really pays off to just write some really quick abbreviated notes, flow charts, whatever, about the steps of the synapse. So let's do that really quickly down below. Uh, they're asking you, there's four events here. They want you to take uh, your answer, your four digit answer, and then of course put that onto the bubble sheet provided. So first kind of thing with Synapse, and we'll go through this fairly quick because we've talked about these steps, but we have the impulse that reaches the terminal. Okay, and that's the terminal of the presynaptic neuron. Okay, that causes uh, calcium uptake That causes the presynaptic neuron to uh, dump its contents. So the vesicle releases the neurotransmitter chemicals into the synapse. Okay, and synapse again is that space between either two neurons or the space between a neuron and a muscle. Okay, they will diffuse across, the chemicals diffuse across the synapse and they will dock on protein receptors of the post synaptic or the muscle. What does that do when they dock on there? That causes NA gates to uh, enter which equals depolarization are excited or contraction of the muscle muscle contracts once that sodium enters and we've seen that many times before last step is once that's accomplished we have to release uh, and remember we talked we talked about uh, cholesterase or acetylcholesterase so we release Release cholesterase, which clears gap of chemicals. And then again, that just repolarizes or uh, relaxes the muscle. Okay, now uh, I know this is uh, nothing fancy or whatever, but we're trying to simulate exactly what you're gonna be doing or hopefully be doing in a test environment. Just write out those steps super quick. Now, even uh, if all of those steps aren't in this particular question, you will see this in other capacities. So by doing this, again, you're already unlocking the file that contains this information from your brain, and it will help you down with some, you know, down the road with some other questions uh, in the same exam. So it's probably a good strategy to, uh, to incorporate. So let's take a look at some of these events really quickly here. Muscle fibers contract when sodium gates open. So they're talking about muscle contracting, contracting. Okay, and that is a little farther down the pathway. That's right here. I'll just put a star beside this. Okay, acetylcholine is released from the axon terminals. Okay, well, uh, that would be the chemicals right here, acetylcholine. That's happening pretty far up in this little flow chart here. 
Uh, acetylcholine binds to receptors. Well, that's right here, so that's a little bit further down. And cholesterase breaks down acetylcholine. That's kind of the last step. So you can see, once we have this flow chart, it's pretty easy to put these things in the correct order. So, first one we talked about here was acetylcholine being released from the vesicles or from the axon terminals where the vesicles are located. So that would make number two first. Then we said the acetylcholine binds to receptors. That came a little farther down the line. So that would make this number three. What does that cause? Well, that causes sodium to enter and it causes the muscle to contract, which looks like number one. And the last thing that happens here is cholesterase is released, uh, causing, this, causing the sodium gates to close. And we get that uh, muscle, in this case, uh, to relax or the uh, postsynaptic neuron to repolarize. Okay, so uh, of course that would be number four. So your four digit answer in the correct sequence would be two, three, one, four. That would list all the different events uh, that they give, uh, that they provide in this particular example uh, of synapse. And again, synapse, how we're trying to get that wave of depolarization from a presynaptic neuron to get that muscle contracted in this case. Okay, again, any questions with this? If this is still confusing, uh, just uh, give me an email and uh, we can see if we can rectify any confusion that you might have. But you will see this question again coming up or questions very similar like that. So again, if you have any issues, just give me uh, an email and we can, uh, we can connect. Okay, thanks. Good luck, guys. Bye.